Hello everybody and welcome to my Facebook live uh, number two. Yesterday there were three people watching live uh, my first live video so uh, hopefully today will be at least those three and if more I will be very happy because I will see that I, it has purpose for me to do videos about mental game of golf. So if uh, you see me correctly, if you hear me correctly, please type in, in the comments down below that I can see you, I can hear you. Uh, this way I will get a really good feedback about uh, quality of the video. Uh, so, let's get started. For those who don't know me, my name is Mario Becky. I am a psychologist who is helping golfers to think better, more efficiently in their game. Especially before, during and after the playing golf rounds. Before we get started, let me remind you what I told you yesterday. I recently published a uh, book for Mental Game of Golf, which is called Pocket Golf Psychology. And I will post a link to this uh, book directly in the description of this video, as well as uh, one of the comments uh, down below. As I told you uh, yesterday, uh, major, majority of the people who are coming to me are golfers and golfers who have already severe, severe issues with their game. So uh, they have either problems with their scores, they have problems to keep their good scores that uh, they already have, or which is even worse, they uh, have problems to uh, no go, not going to the bad numbers in the scoring. So their game is not progressing well, but uh, as a matter of fact, it is uh, degrading. So when they come to me, they already feel uh, confused and uh, frustrated. And I totally get them because uh, who wouldn't be uh, uh, f frustrated if uh, in activity which you love, you wouldn't be successful, or at least successful in a way you predicted to be uh, successful. So I totally get them and uh, many times I hear the stories that uh, it's very sad for them to continue, that they don't have motivation to go further and uh, it is many times very, very tough for them to pick up the golf clubs and go again, try uh, the purpose of the golf, which is for us the same. But the question is, what is uh, the purpose of uh, why why we are playing the golf after all so you have to ask this self uh, ask this question yourself as well why do you play golf is it because uh, you can uh, spend a lot of money on new golf clubs it is because you can uh, spend a lot of money on uh, golf travels it is because you play uh, uh, flushes, you play uh, slices? No, of course not. It is because you experienced already that feeling of having a clean shot. You experience the feeling when your body moves from the backswing to the follow-through. You experience the softness of the ball when it touches the club in the soft spot and you see the ball flying in the distance. You experience this, this amazing feeling. And this is the reason why we all are returning to the golf, to find again this, this amazing feeling. Many times it is frustrated because uh, it is not going as well as planned. Even though these golfers are coming to me, even though these golfers are who are coming to me are practicing and even though these golfers who are coming to me uh, are investing a lot of funds into new golfing equipment even though they are passionate about this game they feel this frustration and uh, it's totally understandable however what i tell them every time there is only one thing that works and then the one thing is to have emotional control over yourself. That one thing that works in golf is to stay calm. But the question is how to stay calm? The answers for uh, 
this question you can find also in uh, that uh, recently published book of mine, which is called Pocket Golf Psychology. As I told you, the, the uh, direct link to this book will be posted in the description of this video, as well as in the comment down below. What I told you also yesterday was a, a little story, but let me continue in this story. But, and also let me remind you a little bit of it. Before I started to uh, work with golfers, I worked as a psychologist with a group of children who have severe issues with their temper. In every challenging situation in which they were confronted with something that was stronger for, uh, for them or they, they, it was challenging, frustrating for them, they just hit on the wall, they exploded and they had many times problems with, uh, with their teachers, with their uh, parents, with uh, another authorities. So they ended up in the uh, center I was working. My uh, job was only to diagnose them and I diagnosed many of them. I, I made hundreds of tests uh, with each group. I diagnosed them on in, uh, for their intelligence. I diagnosed their emotions. I observed them. So I had a lot of data. And it made me somehow uh, responsible for them. It was my job, but I wanted also to help them. Because if I would send them back home, they would again face those challenges and not moving forward. Wouldn't it be frustrating for you if you play golf and uh, someone would just tell you that, oh, your golf game is not very well, just go and play another round. It would be much easier for you to learn something that works and go then to play a round so you can uh, utilize what you learn what you absorb as a new knowledge therefore i tried something with those kids as i told yesterday i created for them a very simple plan because remember that those were kids from uh, 10 to 16 years of age so if I would put on them thick books of psychological theory, they would reject it very quickly. As we golfers, we re would reject everything that is really complicated. So I created for them a very simple plan at that time. Maybe training at this time, the day. This training was composed out of three steps, very simple steps that enabled them to switch from not working situations to working situations, from not having control to having control over their emotions. It was a very simple plan. It was bullet points, specific hints for specific situations, and something a little bit more, which I will talk about in detail in another Facebook Live videos because we don't have so much time to, to talk about it now. The, this uh, three-step plan enabled them to understand, apply, and change for themselves so they can adjust it for their type of personality. It was very simple. As I said, it was bullet points with specific hints, nothing fancy. Every single part of this program was color matched. So that uh, difference in personalities who were uh, learning this program, these kids could adjust it to their uh, personality, personality preferences. This is what my new uh, book of Mental Game of Golf, Pocket Golf Psychology, is all about. It is very simple form, very similar form, if not the exact that I used with those kids. Because at that time, when I tried it on my kids, in my, in my group of kids, I also tried it on my golfing buddies. And in both cases, it worked flawlessly. Since then, I decided to work only with golfers and partially with kids. 
let me uh, continue about uh, explaining this uh, simple training uh, in another videos. So, that only thing that works in golf, to recap all of this, that only thing that works is that you must stay calm. How to do it? Join me in my next Facebook Live videos. I will go deeper in this uh, simple three steps of a very, very easy training that is easily applicable and which results can you see instantly, even though it may sound, sound very uh, fantasy-like. Those kids who applied it for themselves and those golfers who applied it for themselves saw the results instantly. Therefore, it uh, spread it much more into the world. And now I have clients from golfers from uh, ranging from Australia through uh, uh, France, uh, Sweden, uh, Germany, Austria, uh, Spain, uh, United States, all around the world. Therefore, I invite you to my uh, another Facebook Live video where I will go deeper into this uh, simple training. But uh, before we end today's video, if you feel somehow impatient to watch another episode of this live video, feel free to uh, click on that link to my recently published go uh, book, Pocket Golf Psychology, and you will see in detail what is about what it is about and um, it is uh, I believe very short end for uh, today's uh, live video uh, thank you for watching if you like this video like this video uh, share it with your friends so this way uh, Facebook will know that uh, more and more people could learn in a simple way about mental game of golf which is practical golf psychology and uh, Facebook that uh, can this way recommend videos like this to more and more people. We see us really, really soon and I wish you a wonderful golfing day. See you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.